I joined the Communist Party USA about 10 years ago in the aftermath of the last great crisis and, and economic collapse. And I was angry and I was fed up and I wanted to fight for socialism. You know, where else do you go for that? I was ready to do communist stuff. And I was a little surprised at the beginning um, at how much of that involved door knocking and, and phone banking rather than like clandestine meetings. But I think the, the, the lesson that I've learned or that I'm learning, you know, in my time in the party is that the struggle for socialism isn't cut off from everything else, right? Um, getting involved in the struggle for socialism doesn't, doesn't mean stepping out of political struggles that are going on under capitalism, it means stepping into them, right? Socialist revolution is what happens when the struggle for democracy gets so big and so powerful, and so united, and the working class is so much at the center of it that capitalism can't even hold it anymore. Right? It, so socialism is just the highest level of, of the struggle for democracy. So when I go this afternoon to drop my ballot in a collection box, and when I poll watch on election day, and when I mobilize to protect the vote after that, uh, I'm doing it for democracy. I'm doing it for voting rights. I'm doing it for uh, a response to this crisis that takes into account the needs of working class families and communities, especially working class communities of color. I'm doing it against fascism, against white supremacy, but I'm also doing it for socialism. I'm doing it because that's what the fight for socialism is right now.